This video will introduce all of the functions for adjusting form settings with JSN Uniform. The first is General Settings. In the Form Manager app, click on a form from the list to show the Form Settings page. This is the Form Settings page. By default, all the General Settings pages will be shown. The Title and Description function allows you to set the form's title and form's description so you can identify it in the administrator area. With the status function, you can select the form status to determine if it should be displayed on the website or not. Ajax Upload helps you show the progress bar when a user uploads a file within the form. Next is Allow Front End Submissions Editing. Select Yes and select Permission Level Required to be able to edit submissions details at the front end. The same as the Allow Front End Submission Editing function. Allow Front End Submission Viewing allows the user to view submission details at the front end. The next function is CAPTCHA integration. Select the CAPTCHA technology to be integrated to the form to prevent spam. The system will require submitters to fill in the reCAPTCHA. Secure image or invisible reCAPTCHA will protect forms from spam and abuse. The final function in the General tab is Payment Integration. It allows you to create a form with payment integrations quite simply and quickly. To select payment integrations, you need to install the plugin in the Integrations Manager. You can go to this page via the Menu button on the toolbar. Here you can see Payment Integrations. Click the Install button to install them. Now let's start to explore the form design area. In the design tab, you can see form type. Select a typo to show form fields in the single page or multiple pages. The next function is Form Layout, which allows you to choose a vertical layout or horizontal layout for your form. You can style all the elements on your form using the Form Style function such as color scheme, container, title, field, error, buttons, and you can also add custom CSS code. And the most important component in the form setting is the fields. To show all fields, you can click on the Add Field button on the container to show them all. On the list of fields, you can show fields via a drop-down box or enter a field's name into the search box. In the form layout, you can also add more containers by clicking on the Add Container button. For the last one, you can style the Submit button, replace the title, and add a Reset or Preview button. An indispensable part in the form design is Script. Here you can customize scripts called On Form Displays, On Form Process, and After a Form Has Been Processed. 
Do not ignore previous text area notifications. Next is the Metadata tab. It allows you to add some meta tags or a meta description, meta keywords, and set use form title as the page title. The last tab in the form design page is form action. Here you can set up email notifications, post submission action, or adjust MailChimp form settings. With email notification, it allows you to send emails to website administrators and people who are taking care of form submissions, or send an email to the person who submitted the form. Post submission action supports your site to become more friendly with data protection regulations. MailChimp settings allow you to adjust settings for using MailChimp or not. If you want to use MailChimp for your site, you need to enter your MailChimp API key. All the functions of the form setting have now been introduced. Thank you for watching. Please check our other videos to learn more about how to work with JSN Uniform.